Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today we're going to be converting units of weight. Here's our first problem to try. So this newborn baby weighs about six pounds. How many ounces does he weigh? We can jump over to the whiteboard to start figuring this out. Okay, so first things first, I set up this nice little table that I used in the converting length video I made right before this. And so this will help you with weight also because it leaves a spot for whatever unit you're given. It has a spot for a rule or pattern. And then it has a spot for the unit that you're trying to convert or change to. So in this case, we know that one pound is 16 ounces. And so we just have to think of what rule it takes to get from one to 16. And if you remember in the last video, these are all going to be multiplying or dividing. And when you're getting, when you're going from a one up to a bigger number like 16, it's always gonna be multiplying. So one times what equals 16? Okay, great, one times 16. Now in the problem of a typical um, weight of a baby, a newborn baby, if we say, that we're trying to find six pounds, then let's think about doing that rule to the pounds and we'll get our ounces. Why don't you pause the video and try that multiplication problem out? All right, great job. So a six pound baby weighs 96 ounces. Whenever the video's over, I have a fun idea for you. You should ask your parents how much you weighed when you were born and find out how many ounces you were. Here's our second problem. So the mass of an average banana is 120 grams, and I want you to convert that to milligrams. So let's move back over to the whiteboard and figure it out. Okay, so I've already set up the table for us to go from grams to milligrams. And I put down what you can just, you can always just Google this information. You know, you can say something like, how many milligrams are in a gram? And you can find that out really easily. So in this case, 1000 milligrams equals one gram. So what rule do you see for this problem? Okay, great, times a thousand. Okay, and then we were given the information that a average typical banana is 120 grams. So why don't you pause the video and see if you can figure out how many milligrams that is. Let's check your work. So 120 times a thousand, we're gonna do that same rule and I love the metric system because it makes it so easy to work with zeros like this because we know that 120 times 1 is 120, of course. And then we just stick three zeros on the end. One, two, three, and then put our comma in. So I got 120,000 milligrams. Here's our last problem. An average Asian elephant weighs about 8,000 pounds. How many tons does it weigh? So once again, let's move over to the whiteboard, see if we can figure this out. Okay, let's try this out. So I went ahead and made a table. I would suggest that you do the same. When you, whenever we're doing these problems, make yourself a quick table. Um, in this case, we're doing pounds, converting them to tons, and we need to know the rule to be able to solve these. So let's fill in what we do know. If you search up how many pounds are in a ton, you see that there are 2,000 pounds in one ton. 
So then you just got to think about what is happening, what rule or pattern is happening to go from 2,000 down to 1. The other two problems we did, we were going from 1 to a bigger number. So think about the opposite. Okay, great. It's definitely division. And we do 2,000 divided by 2,000, and it gets us 1. Okay, and then we got the information that an average elephant would be 8,000 pounds. Okay, so I want you to pause the video and see if you can figure out how many tons that is. Let's check your work. So it's divided by 2,000. And there's a couple ways you could do this. Um, you could be thinking about the 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then these zeros cancel themselves out because there's 3 over here and there's 3 over here. 3 in the uh, dividend, 3 in the divisor. So it cancels those out. The other thing you can do is just think about what's reasonable. If 2,000 pounds is um, one ton, then you could count by 2,000, you know, kind of like you count by twos. 4,000 is two tons. 6,000 is three tons. And then, of course, 8,000 would be four tons. Okay, great job. Well, thanks for watching everyone. I hope that this video helps you while you're converting different units. And I hope that it either helps you out at home or at school this year and makes you feel more confident about this type of math. See you on the next video. Bye.